next next tutorial is going to be a short one. It's actually pretty simple and fast. We're going to go open the part file, a new one. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go create a new sketch on, again, either clicking on one of these planes, or we could go to the origin and we're going to go select the XY plane. The next step we're going to do is we're going to create the sketch over here. So we're going to draw a line. Before we draw a line, we're going to draw a center line down the middle. So center. From the origin, we're going to draw it all the way up like so. So we have our center line. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a line going from one side all the way to the other side. But I'm not a center line, so we'll click on it and uncheck the center line. To make sure it's equally spaced, we're going to do what? We're going to use equals, uh, symmetric, sorry, symmetric from one point, two point, three point. So now it's equally placed inside the middle. I could put a dimension now, click on the line, and my dimension is going to be, so if you want it to show the diameter, I think you have to do this. You have to click on this, this, and then you get the diameter. Is that clear? If you want the diameter, again, you click on the first point, the second point, and this way you know it's going to be a revolve feature. And in this case here, our diameter is going to be what? 1.575. Is that clear so far? So now we've done this line. Not hard? Press finish sketch. If you want to actually, I think, let's see if it lets me do it. Let's add a horizontal constraint. It's already there. Good. We could add, what other constraint can we add? Can we add this one? Yeah, but I think if also we add this, it should work as well. No, it's not, like you said. We don't have to always fully dimension it like this. We just leave it like that. We're not going to fully dimension it. Okay, now we're going to go and do finish sketch. And we have this lovely little line. We're going to go use our coil option under the create. Okay, sorry, we have to do it. We skipped, I skipped the skip, step, apparently. We have to draw a circle, right? So we're going to use 3D Sketch, right? And we're going to click where? Here. We're going to go draw a circle. I'm looking for you guys to respond. This point here. And now where's the circle, guys? Well, how do we draw the circle? We click on Sketch. 3D sketch. What the hell sketch? Hold on. We're going to go back to 2D sketch. We're going to draw a circle. Okay, we'll edit the sketch true. Edit sketch and we'll add a circle here. Same thing. What's the diameter going to be? 0.236. It's the diameter, right? So, right click. Diameter. 0.236. There we go. Is that okay so far? The next thing we're going to do is we're gonna, now we're going to use our finished sketch. We're going to delete this 3D sketch I made by accident. And now we're going to go use the revolve, uh, the coil, sorry, the coil. Our profile is already selected. Our axis is going to be the line we just built. And now what we're going to do is our rotation, we can change the angles. If we go to coil size, we could change it to pitch and revolution like we have here. And we're going to go put 0 0.590 and revolve around eight times, like so. We see it? And we're going to go to coil ends, and we're going to make it so it does flat and flat. Are we going to change the angles? We don't need to. We leave it at 0, 0. And we press OK. And there you go. We have our nice coil. We're going to do File, Save As, and call this one Tutorial 3. Good. And that was it for this video. Again, don't forget to share subscribe.